The next thing I want to share with you is a man named John Jensen from Apopka, Florida got in touch with me recently and he wanted to share with me some new research that he's done that I think is amazing. I've been to his house and I've seen it. His work provides convincing evidence that along much of North America's eastern and southern coastlines an extremely numerous, highly advanced civilization existed about 7,000 years ago, 5,000 BC. This high culture, which may have equaled our own, was wiped out in a catastrophe that left visible, only, left visible only the deep marks they dug into the Earth's surface, much of which is now submerged to a depth of three to five feet. How can this be possible? Because for thousands of years it has been right under our noses, hiding in plain sight. We all thought, I thought that when the sea rise since the end of the last ice age, the 300 feet, I assumed it was a curve like you see here, just the the kind of gradual curve. It wasn't that way. It was done in a series of, of um, jumps and fits, fits and starts. So when you look at what really happened, you see that up to 7,000 years ago, it was fairly steady, and then suddenly it, it stops. And from 7,000 years ago, there's only been five feet of rise. Since 5,800 years ago, there's been three feet. And since 5,000 years ago, there's only been one foot of rise. Something happened around 7,000 years ago to change things. We don't really know what. Now, what you see with John's work is it's strictly Google Earth, but he has a super duper, super duper Google Earth thing. And you can really see clear, clear, clear. This is, this is terrible by comparison. I'm almost ashamed to show you, but it's all he really can do when you, when you get it. But all of this is, con there's canal systems here. This is a harbor and a big harbor. And these canals, all curved through, th through here, and that little bump that you see where the houses go in, you can see people can wade right out in that. That used to be part of the harbor. And all these canals are not really, they're not new. The people just build on what was already there. It's amazing, and there's lots of it. Up and down the East Coast, around Florida, and over to Louisiana. Now, Louisiana is where the action really is. And I'm from Louisiana, that's how he got me. He said, you're from Louisiana, how do you not know about this? I said, I always heard the oil companies dug them. They didn't dig them all. Look at these double tracks. This goes for 100 miles across the south of Louisiana and north and south. These big double tracked canals go, and here you see on an island out in the middle, you see how they are, and they're partially submerged. Oil companies didn't dig that, didn't dig that. They, the sea levels haven't risen a, a, but a few inches since the oil companies started working down there in the 20s and 30s. These are ancient folks, ancient. That's why he calls them ancient canals. Here you see a good look at one of them. 
And there's the midline that really exists through all of it. It is the largest mega engineering job on Earth ever. Bigger than the Panama Canal, bigger than the Suez Canal, all of them put together 7,000 years ago. This is history in the making, folks. If anybody wants to get involved in it, help him out, send him some money. He needs to do all kinds of research. John Jensen of Popka, Florida. His canal, I mean, his website is ancientcanalbuilders.com. Ancientcanalbuilders.com. Thank you.